Hi, this is Stephen Brower, and in this video I'm going to go through three scheduling algorithms, first come, first serve, shortest job, next, and round robin. Um, for all three examples I'm going to go through, imagine if at, at well, we'll see time zero, three jobs, three jobs arrive at the exact same moment. And let's say the estimated time that job one will take is eight, uh, job two will take is four, and job three will take is two. Um, well, if we're dealing with first come, first serve, if we're saying this job one is the first to arrive, then when uh, in first come, first serve, it'll run, so it runs through its eight uh, cycles, and it finishes, so then the turnaround time for that job one um, is the eight minus zero is eight. Then job two, which has a length of four, um, will now run it runs through its four cycles. Um, remember, it arrived at zero here. It finishes here at 12, so 12 minus zero is 12, and so the turnaround time for that one is 12. So even though it didn't start till here, although it arrived at zero, this is where it finally finished. And then finally, job three, which has a length two, uh, it finishes, and its turnaround time is 14. So eight plus 12 plus 14, for the total turnaround time, for these three jobs, all arriving at the same time, all at time zero, um, the total turnaround time is 34, so the average is 11.3. Uh, what we'll do next is we'll look at the same jobs, but looking at shortest job uh, next. And so imagine all three arrive at the same time, and now if we look at which one is the shortest, it's the one here, job three of length two, is which will go first. So job three goes for two, um, it's two time cycles, and the turnaround time, since it's now finished, is two. Of the two that are remaining, the four and the eight, the length four is the shortest, which is job two. So job two runs for its four cycles, and its uh, turnaround time is six. And then finally, um, the last job, job eight, I'm sorry, job one <laughs> with length eight, uh, completes and its turnaround time then is 14. So the 14 plus the 6 plus the 2 is our 22, and so the average is 7.3. So comparing the shortest job next to what the first come, first serve was, um, we see that uh, the shortest job next uh, was actually indeed uh, faster. Now, this next example isn't going to produce maybe the results that exactly you might think, but I'll talk about how this one works. Uh, for this scenario, we're going to use round robin, and the idea is that every job is going to get a slice of time, and what I'm going to do for the purposes of this example is use a time frame of two. Um, so, uh, so right now, all these three jobs arrive, and because it's doing two, it'll take the first job and do two cycles for that first job, so one, two. Then it'll do two cycles for the next job, job two, two cycles two cycles for the next job, job three, two cycles. Now by coincidence, it just so happens this job three is now done. And so the turnaround time for job three is now six. So then it goes back and it says, okay, let's now do job one again. So it does two cycles for job one. Uh, then it does two cycles for job two. And now job two is complete and it has its turnaround time is 10. So then do two more cycles on job one. It's still not done two more cycles on job one. Now job one is finished. So the 14 plus the 10 the six is 30, then the average turnaround time is 10. So yeah, in this case, it's showing the average turnaround time here is longer than the shortest job next, um, uh, but uh, shorter than the first come, first serve. Um, but one thing to take a look at is, if we look here at time unit six, and this one here at time unit six, only first come, first serve, or in first come, first serve, only job one has started, job two and job three hasn't started. In shortest job next, at this point right here, yes, the job two and job three finished, but job one, nothing has started. Um, here in the round robin, at this point in time here, at time six, all three jobs at least got a slice of the CPU, and so a little bit was done on, on each one of them. Um, now, yeah, the turnaround times here aren't necessarily as good as the shortest job next, but at least it's showing that um, at least 
um, every job at least had an opportunity to run uh, a little bit.